Hey everyone, welcome to um, the install of our OGO composting toilet. This is going to be our first composting toilet. Um, we did some research on them. We looked at this one. We yeah, we liked the way it looked. We liked that it was a bit lower to the ground because the line is not as tall. We also liked the functions like the uh, electric turn and everything like that. However, let's jump into it. I'll um, jump straight into it by showing you the product first and then we'll run into a quick install. And then after that, I will jump back behind the camera and show you a couple of days later, once it's installed, how we liked it, if we found anything we'd change and, and whatnot like that. However, hope you enjoy it, guys. All right, so you open it up and as you can see, you've got the solids area there and the urine section there um, has a little slit at the front there um, and also if the solid section is shut there's a little slit there where the uh, urine if you miss will go in um, to open the solid section there's this nice little handle here you just pull it out and as you see that opened up very nice easy action which is good because we've got kids on the way as you know a kid soon to be probably more um, this little button here on the side is the uh, electronic button to spin the internals. To, um, so as it is a composting toilet, we use that button. There's no handles on the side, we've got to turn or anything like that. You just give that a nice little tap, boom, automatically spins. Um, this also, the ring here will light up red when the urine uh, compartment here in the front is almost full. With that, the urine compartment is, I think, the biggest on the market. It's nine liters. That was um, one of the reasons we wanted to go this. Um, yeah, I'll show you that. So if you lift up the top slightly, which is a little bit hard, but anyway. So that, there we go. So you lift up the top a little bit, and then you can pull the bottom open, and there's the urine part. Um, also love this one because it's not clear so you're not going to see any colors or anything like that um, we'll just quickly jump in here where you can see it there's two of the screw holes for attaching it and then this hole in the center is actually if you want to plumb it in so you can plumb this in that you just put there's a pipe that goes from here up to there where the bottom of the urine part is and then you can plumb that through the bottom of your caravan or house or wherever you've got it. And then you can send that to a, a bigger tank, a holding tank. If you're in a house, you can send it to, um, yeah, whatever system you have. Um, and then, yeah, we've, we've thought about plumbing it, but for now we'll run with this nine liters. I reckon that's gonna be good. Um, if not, we can always chuck in another 40, 50 liter gray tank. And then we just empty that whenever we need to empty it. However, I think we'll just run with this for now. Um, so other little characteristics on the back, we've got that, so that's for the, um, out, uh, for the fan, so we've got that part there that pumps the air out, so, so you can pump it outside the caravan, and then this one here actually sucks the air in. If you notice, that there and that there are completely the same, so it's 100% reversible, so if you want to have the fan on the left side, and the uh, waste air, I suppose you'd say, on the, right, on the right side you can, or vice versa, you can just change it, this pops out, simple, nice and easy, pops out with a screwdriver, and then you change them over. Um, all right, let's open this bad boy up. And then, you can see in here. So, as you can see, there's the fan, and there's the other, oh sorry, the vent and the fan with the hose. Um, and yeah, that just sucks the air out of this compartment, out this hose, which they provide for you to plumb in. Sorry guys, I should have pulled all this out beforehand. And yeah, so that will get attached there and then run outside the van. Um, what else have we got in here? As you can see, I haven't opened it up yet. So that's this, the, um, the toilet compost cleaner and stimulant for the compost comes with that, the little kit we got, and it comes with one brick. Um, and then in here, comes with the 12 volt power cable, and a couple of screws for fitment. And that's, oops, is it, it's always so hard to do with a camera in your hand. Um, all right, let's set this up over here. I've got two hands now.
actual compost part. You can see in there the rod, so when it spins, it does its thing. Um, and that is about it, I'm pretty sure. And then there, you got the nine liter waste tank, which I think is awesome. Um, anyway, next time you see me, I will be installing this bad boy or halfway through installing it. Alright guys, so we are around the side of the van now um, and I'll pretty much just show you quickly what we are going to do. So here is our old cassette toilet. We're going to take all of this off. Um, inside you'll see these screws here and there's another, uh, there's six in total, three up each side. Then that whole thing comes off. Then you've got the water line here, which now then comes straight out here. And we've got this connection here, which I'm going to disconnect this fitting here. And I'm actually going to put a tap on and then I don't know, we'll put it here or we'll put it somewhere here and then we'll have another tap outside um, and then it's pretty simple we disconnect the power we'll pull this old um, this fan out which we're gonna I don't know maybe sell that or give it to someone else in the park and our two cassettes we'll give away as well um, and then yeah we just reinstall the uh, the new composting toilet so let's um get into it hey guys so this is the install of the Ogo composting toilet. I have already um, pulled out my Dometic cassette toilet. So that was simple, it was just a couple of screws really. Um, yeah, I'm getting rid of that. I was lucky enough, I already had a SOG unit, so I already had the hole in there. However, I'll show you where you got to do the hole and everything for the breather. Anyway, let's get into it. So, this is it here. It's a little dirty already. <laughs> there you go, there's the, the toilet already. I've already got it in. Um, so, in retrospect to installing the toilet, you've got that one, that one, that one, and that one. Four screws, that's it. Um, I've pulled the pee bottle out, we'll chuck it out of the way, just so it's out of the way. Um, and then you've got your fan, it's already pre-wired. Um, as I've already said, you can swap that to there and that to there. However, it just depends how you're venting it. Um, we'll close this bad boy up and then I will pull it forward and show you what I've done. So, I had the conventional cassette toilet in here. This is what I'm left with. I'm left with a hole there, which I've uh, siliconed up. And then I've got my door here, and I already have my hole just there where I have my SOG unit. So, I've taken the black end piece, like this one here, off the Ogo hose, just to fit it through that hole there. Um, yeah, if you don't have a hole, you'll have to drill the hole there. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, might be a 50 mil hole there. I've managed to squeeze that through the existing SOG unit one. So if you've got a SOG, you can use the, the cover for the outside of the SOG and everything, just pull, pull the actual fan off and everything, and then you can squeeze that through. Um, these are the cables that were already there for the last toilet. Um, I've just put the crimps on there because I'm going to reuse it. Um, this is the cable that comes with the Ogo toilet. Very simple, you got one plug there, you got pause and neg there. So I'll just strip them, make them fit that. And we pretty much connect that, which then plugs in just down here, in next to the breather. And then we screw it on the wall. And I'll get, I'll clean this muck off the wall, the pencil on that from the um, original installers and put some stickers over that and we're done. It's really simple. Two cables, the breather hole, four screws, composting toilet, that simple. Um, and of course then, we'll break this bad boy up, add the water, let it do its, let it do its thing, and we've got a composting toilet. Um, I know there were some people that were definitely interested in this when we um, reached out on Instagram, so this will definitely be going up as, I don't know, on Instagram or YouTube or something like that. And yeah, anyway. Let's get into it and finish this off so we can use our new composting toilet. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just making this cable a bit thicker to fit in the, um, the crimp we have there. So,
Okay, so we've got the negative done. Probably should have put some shrink wrap on here, but oh well. positive bit of uh, excess cable here so I'm gonna see how we go this getting the, the knot nice looking there we go then I can um, I can bog this hole up with some white silicon or no more gaps or something like that just to make it look a bit clearer remember this is retrofitting so of course if you put your first one in you're not gonna have that drama that in there and everything should be working I don't know if you can hear or see that turning so that's what will happen pretty much every single time you go to the toilet take that out just because I need to screw it in right. let's get this bad boy back where I wanted it so we're doing it like this you can really do it however you want I'm I'm leaving a bit of a gap um, so we can get in there and clean what we need to clean um, I'm also going to be baking some sort of cover plate or whatnot um, when I can, when we get somewhere with, when we can get something that we can actually use as a cover plate. So we're gonna go about there. this cabinetry because that's probably what you're going to see the most pretty happy with that Just this down there yeah pretty happy with that lid opens up hits the wall yeah. Alright. So 
now we've got the four screws that it comes with, which are a nice gauge stainless steel screw. And we'll put these bad boys in. And there you go, she's pretty much in. Screws are in, all that's in, so we'll put that in now. Put the uh, urine trap back in, or container, whatever you want to call it. Remember to put on the two hooks, so either side here, the little hold hooks that hold the compartment in. That's in. And now we're ready to make the first compost mix. How good's that, but? That easy. Like, literally four screws, two cables, and the vent. Simple as it was actually harder to get the Dometic one out. Anyway, guys, we're gonna make a mix. Well, I'll make a mix once Alana's back. I'll leave that up to her for the first time. And yeah, anyway. Hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully it helps you if you need to install a no-go toilet in your van. Anyway. If you've got any other questions, hit us up. By the way, we're not affiliated. We pay full price for this. It is a, I think, 2000 and something dollar toilet. Um, yeah, so we paid full price for it and we don't get any kickbacks from the company. So, however, but if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer what I can. So, see ya. All right, guys, it's been a couple of days now since we installed our OGO toilet. Um, what is it, three days now, absolutely love it. Um, yeah, game changer compared to the good old cassette toilet, um, that's for sure. Um, things we've found, so the bricks you find, the bricks you can buy for it, of the Koi, Koya Pete, I think it's called, um, the coconut husk stuff, yep. Yeah. So you can buy 15, 15 litre blocks, I think it is, or nine litre blocks. We bought ours with a nine litre block. Um, however, I think, I think it, at nine liters might be too big. I don't know. Time will tell after three or four weeks. Um, however, going off how full it is now and everything like that, next time I might just take a little bit less off, which we can hold there in case you need to add a little bit of dry later on if you get a bit too wet or, or anything like that. Anyway, we're finding so far, just after a couple of days, we think we would rather maybe a seven liter brick or something like that. So next time we're gonna get a nine liter brick, we're just gonna trim the end off and then we'll put that in there. Um, to do with the urine tank, um, we're adding a bit of citrus uh, all natural soap in there. We can't smell any urine. We didn't add it because we could smell it. However, we just thought you might be able to. So we've added a bit of that. Um, yeah, I guess it's up to you if you want to use like essential oils or anything like that. However, that's what we're using at this point and we're finding that it works. Um, other than that, oh, we have had a couple of questions like, how easy is the install? Well, in this video, you would have seen how easy it is. Um, toilet paper, so toilet paper for us, we're putting in a little bag um, and then it goes in the bin. We don't put it in there. Uh, we are gonna get like our own little bathroom bin and leave it in here. So we'll just use that in the future. Um, and yeah, mainly about install and how quickly we got in that. Like we're in Weeper, so we're remote, not far north Queensland at the moment. It took us two weeks. Uh, we've already had someone else that was talking to us about it, buy one, and they got it like three days later. Uh, oh, they got there, sorry, today, so three days later. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll quickly now just show you how everything looks. Um, and yeah, so that's how the install ended up. Install ended up, sorry. Um, yeah, we had to silicon a little. A little one there, there was a breather from the Dometic toilet um, and I still need to get some stickers just to put over those holes but we're now talking about making, I don't know, a shelf or a storage or something back there. Um, yeah, if you're a little bit squeamish, maybe not look at this but you can't see poo or anything 
Um, so that's just what it looks like in there with the Koya Pete. That's us going to the toilet for a couple of days now, and then the urine one down there. Now, after three days, we've emptied the urine one once. Um, yeah, it goes goes pretty good. Um, was the weekend was a radio up here so i did drink a little bit so there was a little bit more fluids going through the body if you know what i mean um yeah easy install love the product so in my opinion it's a well worth investment um, makes life easier and yeah anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video hope um you got whatever you needed out of it don't don't hesitate to um, drop a message or anything in there if you want to hit us up for any any information to do with it or any of the other installs or anything else we do. 